friends. Welcome to Music City Kids. My name is Tamara with Love in a Big World and I'm so glad you're here. Today we want to help you grow strong in mind, body, and heart by giving you some great things that you can do outside. Mm -hmm. We've had a whole year of learning and working indoors. It's time to get out and enjoy the sunshine. So first up, we've got Morris Jameson with some exercises you can do to help you with your balance. Take a look. Hey, this is Morris Jameson from Pray and Exercise. And I wanna to talk to you today about the importance of, uh, let's see, balance. See how hard that was? Um, balance. Balance is a very important thing in our lives. The balance of eating healthy, the balance of treating your friends right, treating your family right, the balance of going to school, playing sports, life is a, is a balancing act. All right, so I wanna show you a couple of exercises that require balance. One of them is a lunge, all right? Lunge, lunge, all right? Balance, all right? Squat, lift the leg, squat, lift the leg, all right? Balance, all right? And standing on one leg requires balance. Standing on the other leg requires, whoa, balance. <laughs> all right, so listen. If you don't get anything else out of what I am saying to you today, I want you to understand that although balance is a challenge, balance is an important part of living a healthy life. All right? So this is Morris Jameson from Pray and Exercise. Have an amazing rest of the day, an amazing rest of this year. Bye now. All right, next, we've got Buy Kids for Kids. Hey, um, my name is Kenya. My name is Chanel. And so today my thing for this video is going to be dance because I can't stay in the house all day. I got to go outside. During this, quor the train rolling. this quarantine and this coronavirus is just making everybody <laughs> depressed and people trying to, people want to go places but we just got to stay in the house and that's a lot for kids to do, and we can't go to school. Sometimes I'm gonna be like, sit down somewhere. I'd be like, but I can't. And then she'd be like, tell me to go outside. And it's like, just too much. So we all trying to handle it our own ways. And I'm 13. So I'm 14. So. It's like hard for us to just be still all the time. And we can't go nowhere in our cars yeah, down I'm the here. street. To the store without being scared of where the coronavirus is going. So, yeah, let's get into this video. Woo. And uh, thank you for watching. This is what we do. We just practice TikToks over and over and over again. Just to do some outside, because we, you know, we love to dance. And thanks for watching. Bye. All right. Now, I want you to think about some adventure that you could have outside. Climb a tree. Maybe explore a creek. Go on a long walk in the woods. Follow some footprints in the mud. Or you could do what Janet is doing today. Take a look. What's your name? Janet. Janet, what are we doing? We are jumping out of a plane. I'm going skydiving on, and yep, gonna jump out of a plane. Watch it. Watch gravity be in full effect today. All right, well, everyone's loading up. The plane's waiting on us. Let's, how about let's head on over? How was that sound? Let's do it. Let's do it. You got anything you want to say before we climb on in there? Uh, no, it's like jump. Harpy Dean, please, today, let's get out of this Just plane. Just ready to do it? Ready to do it. Well, if you look, uh, it's real nice out today. Nice blue skies. We've got an airplane waiting on us. And, uh, Temperature is good. Who's this guy over here? That's my best dude friend, John. Yeah. Woo! Happy birthday. Let's thank you. Yeah. Those who make children's entertainment together should jump out of a plane together. That's right. Well, let's climb on in there. Watch your head in that bar and wait for me, all right?
Cadena 3. I love most about being outside just exploring and enjoying the beautiful creation and thinking about how I get to be part of this big world and so do you because you are fearfully and wonderfully made here's a special song just for you What's up, Music City Kids? My name is Andrikus B. I'm a singer, songwriter, and producer, and firefighter here in the Nashville area. And um, I'm with you guys today just to share a song with you that I wrote and produced. It's called Beautiful. And uh, this song to encourage myself. And I hope the song will encourage you to understand that you are beautifully and wonderfully made and that you have a purpose. Here's Beautiful, and I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. It's been rough, I know Even miserable When your faith is running low No, don't let it crush your soul And I know it ain't going the way that you planned it But you can let those days leave you stranded You're not hopeless yeah. No, it's not hopeless yeah, yeah. I want you to know, you to know, you to know, you to know that you are. Yeah. You're so beautiful, 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 beautiful. Yes, you are. I want you to know, you to know, you to know, you to know that you are. You're so beautiful, 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 beautiful. Yes, you are. Yes, you're a star. Yeah, yeah. Pick yourself back up. No, don't you hold your head down. Continue to dream when it seems that everything's against you. Stand proud. Yeah. And know that you ain't gotta have it all together. It might not be perfect, but remember your purpose. Yeah. And you deserve, you deserve, you deserve, you deserve to know, you to know, you to know, you to know that you are. You're so beautiful, 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 beautiful. Yes, you are. Yeah. I want you to know, you to know, you to know, you to know that you are, yeah. You're so beautiful, 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 yes you are, you're a star, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you're beautiful, you're wonderful and made, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
not looking how you want it to look right now I can promise you just a little patience hard work and perseverance you will begin to see that everything that you behold is beautiful yeah you're beautiful Tamara back to you you know one thing people enjoy doing this time of year outside is gardening and here's a special story just for you called The Gardener by Sarah Stewart. And it's the story of a young girl, Lydia Grace, who was sent by her family in the country to help her uncle Jim with his bakery in the city during the time of the depression. She brings seeds with her. And while she's working in the bakery, she also starts a garden on the roof of her building. So whether you live in the country in the suburbs or in the city, you could start a garden too. It's a great thing that you and your family can do outside. Yep. Now, here's another by kids for kids segment just for you. We are here with El Jirah Jahari Denning, or I call him J Rod. I call him Baby Bear, actually. So um, I'm going to show you his prized possession first. Tell us what your prized possession is. Oh, uh, well, this is a tie light wheelchair, you know, um, all terrain wheels. I got a, my own custom paint job on there, you know, um, maroon, red, and icy blue. Yes, know. to the icy blue. Uh, you know, I just like it, but the one part of it that I need uh -huh. at all times are the light of wheels. You know, hey, hey, it gets dark at night, so you know, I need something. What are you doing see. out at night? Uh, I either go around the block, you know, whenever I want to exercise. Uh -huh. you know, I have other chairs also for the daytime, but whenever I just want to stroll, I have to have the light of yeah, wheels. Yeah, I don't know about this chair. nighttime stuff. Talk to me about being an athlete. Talk to me about that, like your dreams, going into your dreams, like when you first actually started getting into sports, how was that for you? Well, the first thing, first time I was introduced to sports was when I was four years old. Yes, you were. I was, <laughs> the founder of a group that I work with is Able Youth. His name was Rick Slaughter. He asked me if I knew about wheelchair basketball and me being a young kid, never thought about being able to do able body sports in a wheelchair but you know that's when I started wheelchair basketball after that it branched out to track and field okay okay what is I'm gonna I'm gonna test your mind what's your favorite is it basketball is it track which one is it well my first one was basketball you know I grew up with that one so I'm gonna have to stick with my first love maybe. okay Okay. Is this something that you want to continue in college? Because I know you said, I know you said there were colleges looking at you. You're going into your senior year. Am I, uh, that's correct, right? Yes, ma'am. Going to your senior year. Um, do you know what college you want to go to? Right now it is most likely Auburn. Okay. Only because their track coach told me I could actually start my own wheelchair adaptive track team there. Okay. Along with a probable spot on their wheelchair basketball team. Okay. So that would kill two birds with one stone. Nice. Now we're here with J-Rod. We're talking about doing something intelligent during the summer. Now as a you're just my nephew so I don't even know the term to use when you say wheelchair I'd be like that's your car what is being intelligent what do you think what would be an intelligent way to to talk to people about your handicap what would be how would you have an intelligent discussion about that well I would change it from a handicap to a physical challenge uh, because you know everything can be overcome so a challenge is just a blockade what you do with all blockades you either knock them down or go around them so me being a African-American man and 
with a disability, uh, I will go raise awareness with either my business or my sports, which is actually what I'm actually working on. So I want to gain awareness because I'm going to national tournaments. So I'm doing that and recording it so I could show other people for this thing at my high school called a capstone, which is where we go over something that we're passionate about. Next, we've got Dr. E with her niece and her nephew sharing one of their outdoor adventures. Well, hey, Jamar and friends. I hope you all are doing well. Where today we're outside and we're outside and I'm here with two of my favorite people, with my niece and with my nephew. And you know, it's summertime, so we wanna talk about things that we can do and to be able to have some fun this summer. And so our topic for today is the idea of doing something adventurous. And so I was asking Brennan and Ariana about what were some of the kinds of things that we could do this summer or that we could do in general to be adventurous. And so I asked them to join me in this conversation. And so Brennan, tell me what's something we can do to be adventurous? Um, you can go in a rainforest and see what animals and um, and what type of plants are there and see how they have adapted to their how they adapted to their environment. That's a great thing we could do to be adventurous. And what about Ariana? What can we do to be adventurous? We can walk into the rainforest and explore different parts of our backyard. All right, we can walk around a lake or explore different parts of our backyard. And so there are lots of things that we can do during the summertime to be adventurous. Whether you stay at home or stay somewhere near or you go somewhere far, adventure is always right around the corner. And so what we're going to do to be adventurous is that we're going to stay outside. We've got our tent and we're gonna camp outside here in the backyard and we're gonna see what it's like to have an adventure together at night in the backyard under a tent. And so we wanna encourage all of you all, whatever you can do, whether big or small, do something adventurous. Try something new you haven't tried before. And when you do, you might discover that you can gain some new skills or you might build some lifelong memories with the people that you love. And so being adventurous and doing something adventurous is a great way to be able to share love in a big world. And so until next time, see you later. I like to be outside as much as possible. And when I'm outdoors, I'm always moving, walking, running, exploring. Here's something else that we can do when we're outside. Take it away, Dr. j -Pop. Hey everybody. So, guess what? I am not good at push-ups. I love working out. Whenever there's a push-up section in my workout, I dread it because they're really, really hard for me. Let me show you. So I get all set up, put my hands down, I spread my feet out, and I go down and I, oh, I just collapse. And they're so hard. And there's so many people that are so good at push-ups. And I just look at them, I'm like, how? How do you get all the way down to the ground and then you get back up? But there's one thing I could do. I could pout and be upset at the fact that I can do push-ups and I could just forget it and try something else that I'm good at. Cause that always makes you feel better, right? When you do the things you're good at or I could find a way to modify push-ups so that I can make them easier and then work on them so I can get good at that easy modification and then keep building my way till I can get to a full-out push-up. So let me show you what a modification is. Instead of going with my legs all the way out, I'm just going to bend my knees, cross my feet, and then I'm going to try it. Let's see how it goes. Oh my goodness, oh, I could do that. And if that was still too hard, I could get a step or a bench or go uphill, then I won't have to go down as far. Let's see, oh yeah, oh, that's pretty good too. So I could keep working on those modifications, I could do it on the bench, I could do it on my knees, and then I can find ways to get back to the original push-up that I was trying to do. So if there's something that you wanna get better at, it's okay if you're not good now. 
All you have to do is make up in your mind that you want to work on getting good at that skill, find ways to modify it until you're great, okay? Back to you, Tamira. It's time for a nature walk with us, and then you can go outside and have one of your own. Hi, Music City Kids. The other day I went on a hike and decided to film some of the things I saw. In these woods, I usually hear a lot of unique sounding birds, so this time I did some research on the park and found out what species of birds live here. As I was walking, I recorded some bird sounds on my phone, so that's what you'll be hearing throughout the video. The first species of bird is called a barred owl. This is one of the most common types of owls that can be seen in this area. It is active during the day and may be seen quietly perched on a tree limb above the trails. Groups of three or more sometimes communicate with a series of howls and squawks. These owls fly in complete silence, which helps them hunt for rodents and small birds, and they also feed on snails and frogs. The second type of bird that lives here is the pileated woodpecker. This woodpecker is the size of a crow with a striking red crest at the top of its head. It carves long rectangular furrows in dead trees searching for insects and it digs out a distinctive rectangular nest. It also has a loud and clear call that can be heard for miles in the forest. The third type of bird that can be seen in this park is the eastern bluebird. This close relative of the robin is usually associated with open fields where it uses nest boxes to raise three babies per year. They are found along woodland and road edges, nesting in natural holes in the trees. Males are sky blue with a chestnut colored chest and the females have a duller grayish color. These birds sing a low pitched song and eat insects and seeds. The last bird I'll talk about is an American goldfinch. This small yellow and black bird varies in color depending on the season. In the winter, the yellow becomes a dull green. Males look similar to the females but have more feathers. These birds mainly eat seeds and use weeds and vines as nest material. Like the bluebird, it is easy to spot in open fields but can be seen in flight or on treetops singing like a canary. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the videos from my hike and learning about these cool birds. I encourage you to get outside as often as you can. You can find some beautiful places to explore and learn about. So next time you're out in nature, see if you can take some cool pictures, videos, or you could even just listen to the sounds around you. Listen for unique animal sounds, listen to the wind in the trees. The more you take notice of what's around you, the more you can understand and appreciate your environment. Thanks again for watching. Back to you, Tamara. Getting outside is good for us. It helps us grow strong in mind, body, and heart. And what I found is that being outdoors inspires my curiosity and my creativity. As Emily Dickinson said, the brain is wider than the sky. So today, unplug from your phone, your computer, your tablet, your gaming console, your television, and whatever other devices you have. Go outside, play, run, skip, jump, climb, have some fun. And be sure to share your adventures with us at musiccitykids.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.